Yeah, this application was was unique, um, specifically um, what they were running prior to us studying the process. They started out running these components, a family of parts ranging from four inches overall length all the way up to 20 inches overall length. And they were using um, positive inserts. And as you can see, they were running just they, they didn't have any major complaints other than showing us the application and, and trying to find a solution to eliminate breakage. That was one of their challenges um, prior to us looking at it. And after studying the process, reviewing everything, um, looking at their programs, watching every tool path very closely, um, we were able to narrow down exactly what was going on at every at every work center they had about 22 machines total so the solution that we were able to come up with um was first do an apples to apples comparison with our product they were not familiar with uh, the ingersoll turning line at all so we had to do a a nice little introduction with with our lines and our chip breakers and our grades so they requested an apples to apples performance so we matched what they were doing um, with with no program modifications at all so moving forward um, we observed uh, a couple things in the shop and one as you can see is uh, c4 capital holders is one of their holder types and we saw a, a five gallon bucket full of c4 capital holders and they were, you know, not packaged, you know, sitting on top of each other. So we had to ask. And their response was the capital holders were part of, part of their usage due to the breakage. They were damaging the pockets. So after we had learned that, um, we proposed Gold Rhino and brought a sample capital holder of ours in. Um to offer obviously two more cutting edges and a little more robust system. So after we were able to propose the 8105 in the PC, and the PC is very similar to the PM, not exact, but very similar. We couldn't apply too much or too less tool pressure because of some of the distances between centers. So as you can see, the result was, was very, very positive. Um, after proposing Gold Rhino and asking for some flexibility to modify programs, we, we modified the programs prior to running our tool and asked for a 20 to 23 degree entry angle um, on the stock removal between centers. After we had applied that method um, as you can see that the tool life spiked up substantially and e eventually now that it's been three years uh, running this product we uh, we have had zero breakage uh, due to or zero tool life usage caused by breakage so if if they're changing a tool holder it's primarily uh, personnel related so this has been a, a very big win for us. They've been running the product for three years now, and uh, the result is is still very positive. We're we're optimizing as needed and as we can, you know, every month. So we were able to offer them this insert thing and offer basically offer two free cutting edges. The price was a wash compared to what they were using since they were getting special pricing. However we were able to offer two free cutting edges. So this was a, a pretty big win for, for everybody, all sides of the spectrum. So they were they were pleased with, with the overall changes we requested in the programming. And we applied this across the board. There were other types of materials that aren't shown on this presentation, uh, only two more, specifically 416 and 4140. So with all that being said, we applied this methodology across the board and pretty much saw this type of increase in tool life everywhere. Awesome. Th th thanks, Rich. And, and just a couple things I want to point out here is, you know, we, we get used to looking at the Rhino inserts from on a negative 
C and MG or D and MG, but we also can look at some uh, positive inserts here um, to try to apply the gold rhino, uh, depending on how if it's a roughing or whatever, and and to get to get more cutting edges. So this was a great example of here. Yeah, it's a positive insert, um, and then we apply the rhino in there uh, to get the two extra free cutting edges here. And this uh, this savings just shows the one uh, one material, the 4150V, and that's and, and this is an estimated 15,000 barrels a month. But the other two materials Rich mentioned was uh, the 416 and, and 4140, and they also do 10 to 20,000 maybe of those as well. So and they in, in, uh, put this insert on all uh, across the the machines there. So again, th and thank you for everybody's time here.